All right, hello everyone. Give me a moment. Oh, test. All right. So, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the next session of Super Mystery Dungeon. And so I was like, hey guys, I'm gonna do this tomorrow morning, I swear. And that didn't happen. I'm really sorry, it has been a week because a lot of things have happened in real life. But it is time for my soul to be crushed as this game does so, so well. Let's go. Let's find and save Scarlet, even if we have to destroy the entire world to do so. Which is literally probably the message that the game is trying to do. Alright, so if I remember correctly... We're actually equipped. Yes. Like, oh boy, are we equipped. We, we are fully stocked and ready. Also, my bitrate is crazy again. Oh, man. Um, I'm just gonna try not to look at it because I couldn't do anything about it anymore. It's on my ISP. I, I, I can't do much about it. Anyway, so we are over here. We are supposed to go uh, into a dungeon here. With uh, Mew, not Scarlet. You are not Scarlet. You are not as good as Scarlet. You are never gonna be as good as Scarlet. Alright, we are going to... Uh, I guess we are gonna make a decision which one of these do we wanna do. Go visiting Finders Keepers and Battle Challenge. Then we have... Two rescues and a Battle Challenge. We have 5, 3, 9... Unknown four and seven. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the flag. I I'm making uh, an administrative decision of going to the flagstone. Oh, and I gotta bring ah. Okay, no me and Cho. Can I get can I bring Rotom? No, Rotom, why are you not here? I needed you. God. Is Bapu in here? No. Uh uh Elements? Yes. Alright, I suddenly no longer feel scared. I feel powerful. And scary. Alright, let's just go. Okay, we need to keep this deer alive. Oh! This deer here. He actually has range attacks. Wow, he's so completely worthless. Alright, so we have some protein. We give this to Pefin. Because we need to slowly turn himself into a god. Let me just emerald. Let me just emerald up. Like, hardcore. There we go. Alright, let us move. So, yeah. Wow, I hate everything. Um. There was no words. 
There are no words that can describe the level of hatred. The motherfucker's parish song. No. Okay, we need to heal seed the, the other way right now. We have, we have a fair amount of heal seeds. No! Of course the fucking bug died, the fucking knob. Oh my god, everyone has Parish Song here. I hate that Pokemon that's doing this. I need to actually have a look see where the fuck he is. We need to eliminate him right now. Sadly, kinda far away. Fucking die already! You are in the way. Oh my god. Oh my god, they are literally protecting him, even though he's killing them. Okay. Alright. Wow, that was horrible. I hated it. Wow, this dungeon sucks. Wow, this dungeon sucks! Could this be the worst dungeon I've seen yet in the game? Oh, he just ate one of my revival seeds. No! Wow, this dungeon success. And of course we are split the fuck up again. I just wanna leave! I just wanna leave, man. I don't wanna be here no more. Legitimately did not expect this dungeon to go to shit this quickly. This is one monster house that just ruined everything. So anyway, hello everyone, how are you all? <laughs> As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun. As you can see, everything is normal and completely okay. Escort missions are as terrible as usual, and I'm I'm looking forward to returning to Explorers uh, next time, so I can say no to these for the most part. Except for, you know, a couple story-based ones. Okay, so... Super critical. Okay, so 
we have a couple items here. Last seed. The problem is you can never have enough blouse seeds. We're 100% not getting a lot of emeralds, you know, me emerald upping to, to hell was literally pointless because the rooms are too big, filled with too many really annoying enemies. So the, chan the, the chance of me properly emmering up is kinda low. Light up bitch rate. Looks ill. Yay! Thank you for saving me. I've been in trouble after running out of my store of electricity. We did it, we saved uh, Luxio. We are saving the uh, the Bolt family. Look, both the, both the Papa and Luxio are friends. Somehow no Bolt. Yes, I do. <laughs> that is uh, Haxorus. No chill. Did you guys like actually like fight back? I'm trying to get one, two, three. I can make it. Wow, well, you guys are so stupid. Warp payback. You know what? Yes. Not my favorite one, but it's better than nothing because we've been getting absolutely nothing in this dungeon. Why is the fucking buck not with me? Why did he split up the fucking retard? Oh my fucking god. I, I, I hate the NPC AI in this game. It's so terrible. Why is he not with me? Where did he- Why? Why did he split up? Why not just stay next to me, you fucking bozo? Oh, he's going to die again. Actually, I'm just going to make sure he doesn't die. Fucking idiot. Well, we are not getting that one over there.
This is not going well, by the way. This 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 dungeon is not going amazingly. It could be going much better. Oh, there we go. I, I wish I could just throw this bug to not get in the way. Just stay away, just go into the corner or something. Because this shit like that happens. You don't have the fucking HP to do this, mate. Just, just don't fight. Don't get in the way, don't fight. Ricky Bozo. God. My internet is not working correctly because my ISP is a piece of shit. And now I deal with a bug that doesn't know where to stop fighting. You would think a bug of all things would know when to st stop fighting because it doesn't attack uh, shit. You don't fight it right away. Oh, that's just a bounce one, who cares? You know who cares? Me cares. God, this inventory is starting to look absolutely disgusting, by the way. one more room i want to explore it it could be items man it could be sparkly floors man oh god huxorus yes the paralyzation worked fuck yeah well i mean it wasn't completely worthless but it was pretty worthless Rescue is not available. Alright, give me a moment. You know what that means? That means there's gonna be a fight. Alright. I wish I had Rotom with me, so I have someone with AoE, but, you know. Life is not easy. And I had to use my uh, big uh, oh shit button already. Oh, this, 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 this just sucks. This, <laughs> man. The buck is getting killed, by the way. There's no way we can, like, not have him be dead. Holy mother of Jesus. Splitting damage, you idiots. Oh, and now you guys don't even fight? Uh -huh. AI is stupid. Beyond bad.
Man, the petrification thing was really good. Holy mother of god. Wow. The power orbs. Do not underestimate orbs. Ah, I lost. How about another battle? Never mind. What is this bug doing with me here? More connections. Oh, it's dark. That's a new, uh, that's a new effect that I haven't seen before. Wow, this game, this game pulls, pulls, pulls new, new stuff every, every fucking time. Yeah, it's, it's a night mission, what the fuck? What is this, Helldivers? I feel like I'm playing Helldivers right now. Hey guys, it's a night mission! Every everyone just leaves. It's okay guys, you don't need to see, right? You don't win. Look ma, no hands! But yeah, I'm like 90%. So, Shiren, uh, the new Shiren came out, right? Instead of uh, us getting a Mystery Dungeon game, right? And. Sadly, uh, I'm gonna, probably not gonna be getting it because I am not super interested in this gameplay as much as I'm interested in the stories, right? And apparently, the Shiren game barely has any story. It's like, not really a story. Not to mention, like, uh, Chelsea got a little bit spicy about that uh, thing, you know, saying, you know, oh yeah, you know, like, maybe if you bought Shiren games more, you know, like, they basically pulled that card, and I'm like, okay, like, we would buy Shiren games if Shiren games were good, you know, the reason we buy these games is because these games are amazing. Painted Pokemon. Ooh, not a petrification orb. Yeah, you need to go away. And no one can say that this is not difficult. This is probably the most difficult uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game ever made. At least from the ones I've played so far. Like if you if you are not on top of your game, uh, this game will eliminate you. Munch. Hey! Yes, I'm fully recovered, thanks. Still, could I have another bite? A bug bite, you know what I mean? Oh my god, no. Ah, the chance of humor. Oh, Weedle and Spinnerick are friends? I guess I should have seen it coming. Also, of course the escort uh, mission is the last one. 
You know, why make things nice if you can make things terrible? That is literally the motto of uh, Chansov in this game. Why make things nice if you can make things absolutely downright evil? It's okay, we can send paper to balls uh, of the players. What about female players? Well, <laughs> we, we make them grow balls and then we send paper with them off. Seems like quite a lot of steps in, for a joke. Well, we have Spike Chansoft. Lol lol lol. Hey puppy, welcome. As you can see, I'm losing my fucking mind. How are you? Bonk. 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 Okay, the warp payback thing is really funny. I, I like it. Don't go away. There we go. Hypocritical. Now everyone is hypocritical. Guard. You know what? Special defense. There we go. Special defense. That's special defense for everyone! Good fucking hucks. Imagine going to a dark cave suddenly hucks stores. How was I supposed to do that? How was I supposed to reach it? Answer is I wasn't, you know, the game was just like, yeah, fuck the player, yeah, yeah, examine, examine the fuckery, examine the sheer levels of fuckery before you. I'm just going to shoot this, just in case, and it hit. No, go away, demon. Fucking perish song spam. A Toto Orb. I would gladly exchange that for something. Any kind of orb that, like, makes my life easier, I will gladly take. I'm kinda glad that a lot of Pokemon already have uh, some of the basic IQ skills, like, ready. And I don't need to, like, farm IQ skills in this game, like you do in Explorers. I'm not saying that it's difficult to farm IQ skills. It's just annoying. I wonder when I'm gonna be playing uh, Explorers of Sky again, you know, after this game, probably. I'm wondering, like, what kind of team am I gonna get? I wonder if anyone is gonna be in chat for that. Or maybe that's gonna be something I'm just gonna record. I, I don't know. There's all the questions that I don't have an answer for yet. Like, I wanna stream it, it's just my uh, streaming has been kinda painful lately, and I just don't know if I can. Okay, let's see if I can shoot over this Amora. I, I can?
There we go. We can finally get rid of the escortee. My god, thank you. Oh, poor Aramao. Oh, Aramao. Thank you for saving me. My name is actually Amara. Lol. Aramao. Oh, so is this a uh, Dealing's father? Ah, give us a good itch and nose. Ah! Need, need to cut it off every chainsaw. Burn guard, that's just HP. There you go, Mew. You, you now have 100 HP. It's okay, at this point we are like doing so much damage, it's actually a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, like once you have this many MRs uh, on your MR brace, you just kinda become a murder machine. I, I mean, look at it, that's my weakest attack. And it still does so much damage. Also, where the fuck is the... Oh, it's... It was on the... It was on the face first freaking room. Nice! Game is like, hey, you can leave, and I'm like, well, actually, I will take death. Oh, not a barrage. Rock. I know I should be using the whole uh, look around thing more often, it's just... It's such a annoyance, man. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, the, the freaking dis distance dodge saved us there. The distance dodge is the only reason that didn't hit us. My fucking god, thank you, distance dodge. I can only get hit by those like two more times and then we are fucked. Charming Pokemon is on this floor. Okay. That's useful to know. Oh, that's pointless. I mean, I literally have the Wonder Tiles right around here. Alright, time to grab all of this. Another barrage. Yo, dog, that's a lot of barrage. So we are basically now like six Pokemon essentially when it comes to attacks. Oh, Rotom. Oh shit, I, I, I like Rotom. Rotom has compared notes with me. Time to go through very slow cutscene. So I'm, not, I'm not entirely complaining because like that's just that's just free apples for everyone. I just went uh, for it without thinking. What was that? Did, did it sound like something was done cooking just now? Thanks, Rotom. Oh wait, that means we have second Rotom. Oh man, that's amazing. That means we can do e discharge again, right? I I need every Rotom. Every Rotom is mine. Alright. 
I think it's actually Finn who has the least HP right now. Bonk. No. Would you like to go on? Yes. Now, now I just want to finish it, basically. I just want to go around, finish the dungeon. I don't even care for items, because we are kind of full on items anyway. I mean, I guess I do care about, like, leveling my abilities. And we do still care for, like, money. Kinda wanna, you know, speed it up a wee bit. Oh my god. So much emerald dust. I'm pretty sure everyone is super critical, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that too, Blastoise. Oh, I thank you, Barrage. Barrage, yet again carrying me. On the door. That means uh, we can unlock another dungeon in here. Eventually. You see, cannot open. I need a Pokemon to un unlock it for me. sleep on the job wow this this sucks this really does suck I know it's okay I'm just upgrading my moves the, the cool thing about uh, Super Mystery Dungeon is that no matter what, I'm upgrading my moves. Lol, how big is this dungeon again? Biopex boost. Well. Wand expert. Well. And speaking of wands. Solomon's now has ridiculous HP. Hatred. Pure. Oh my god, someone killed that frog. Someone killed the frog. New! Oh my fucking god. That, that frog. Oh my god, the game is like, hey, everyone is this uh, parish song frog now. Wow, I, like actually, literally. It's all frogs, always has been. Game's like, I cannot kill you normally, so I'm gonna kill you and perish some spam, lol. There we go. Energy. Your. Lightning Reviver, Scanner, Lightning Reviver, about the uh, MR Brace, Ugh. Your. Wow, ship sucks. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? For what? I didn't... What do you mean? 
Oh. Wow, I wouldn't even know. No, I'm just gonna I'm just going to sell you this orange berry. Oh these fuckers are willing to uh buy chests that can have gold bars in them for like 300 bucks. If only I could do it the other way around. We had another great day, huh, Finn? Nyora seems to become part of the life here. Working for the Expedition Society sure is a lot of fun. We get, all we get to go to all kinds of places and meet all the Pokemon there. Hey, Finn. Before I came here, you had another partner named Scarlet, right? Oh, don't talk about her. I bet Scarlet had a really great time here too. But now Scarlet's gone away somewhere. I bet Skyrim must be really sad about it. It's like there is a dagger inside my heart, right? My fake non-existing heart. And Mew is just like... Twirling it and burning it deeper into me. I sure hope that your friend Skyrim comes back soon. Wow. Well, I'm pretty bushed. I'm going to hit the hay. Nighty night, Finn. Oh my god, you literally says the shit I say. Mew. You know, you could just take Mew by the neck and just break his neck right now, just saying. Thank you. Why thank you? You've had a great adventure today. No. Scarlet is not here. Good morning, Finn. Let's work hard out dead again today. Give it to you all, out dead team. Ah yes, let's have fun. Somewhere deep inside, my character is probably thinking about all, all the mistakes he's made in his life. We are too late, don't do it for you, cause I will eat it all. Be careful out there. There are still so many things in the world that I don't understand. Good luck out there. It seems that Mew has adapted quite well to life here. Do your best today. I'm Poros. But he's not Scarlet. Oh no. We, 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 we need to leave. We need to not, not communicate with this monster of a man. Ooh. What is going on? I'm mad crazy happy. I'm so happy we can all be together. My dad says uh, we're going to stay in town for a while, so I can still hang out with everybody. Oh, all right. Looks like we're going to get a lot of. We're going to lay out Bradovich. Sorry, Stanley. I'm so glad to see you. We can be together. My God. My dad is Stanley dad by talking. Wonder if, if that's what it's supposed about. Oh no, you don't know, but they're gonna marry probably. Let's do our best today. You're always working so hard. We will do our best to plant more flowers. Yes, I wanna open this. Oh yes, go I, I like to see. I enjoy seeing gold bars. I was gonna embarrass it myself, but lately I've realized that I shouldn't worry so much. Wow. I hope you have a good one. Oh. Good luck out there, Finn. Have fun, Finn. It's my turn today. I work hard to make my all my deliveries. 
Man, I'm so I'm so proud of these guys that they like found themselves a job. God, wish I could. Okay, I'm to deposit some of this crap. do I have? Only three. Don't mind me just, you know, buying everything that we use basically every day. I never realized how happy I was to be able to work in peace. Wow. Oh, every single one of these is a mood. Of another expedition. Good luck. No one is even mentioning Scarlet. No one is mentioning Scarlet anymore. It's like I'm the only one who cares. And before someone like looks at this uh, stream and it's on YouTube, and they will be like, "You actually care too much, buddy." And then I realize that I am. Um, I am probably the... I'm the bad guy in this story. Not, not my character. Me, specifically. Me, the player. You see, this game is actually meta. It's, it, 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 this was Undertale before Undertale. I intend to stay around a hero for a while. When I think about my kids' schooling, that seems like the best idea. Sounds great. We're so happy to have you. Guess we'll be happy to have Starly around. Wow, he actually is moving in. Oh my god. I, I I was joking. All right, we need to check all the towns. You know the usual. This is definitely the more time-consuming part of the game. You know, having to go between the towns every time because you need to communicate with the NPC. Ooh. You have to think of it. I haven't talked with anyone in a while. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. If I didn't go here, I would not be able to talk to Valplume here. You need to go around and talk to the NPCs. Thank you for the talk. Now I want to scatter. Pollen! Oh god, he wants to scatter pollen. No, he's gonna do the puppy toad thing. Anyone here that I'm not spoken to? No! Mission! Ah! Ack! Spoken here, we have spoken there. Oh yeah, shop. Well, escape pods are kind of expensive in this game. What the fuck? Even though escaping in this game is kind of bad. Like, you re you really do not want to be escaping out of dungeons in this game because... This game punishes a lot. Badly. Well, the dungeon don't scare me, come on. Go, go, go! Let's go! Alright, now we have to make it to... Grass Continent. So, yesterday, uh, we finished Scaled uh, Journey, you know, our Cobalt campaign. And I have no idea what's going to be happening now. You know, the players are currently voting on a new campaign. And it seems it's either gonna be for the Questria or uh, another Mystery Dungeon campaign. And I'm like, gosh, people really wanna do Mystery Dungeon a lot. Not that, I com not that I'm complaining. I'm the big uh, Mystery Dungeon thing, so you know, doing Mystery Dungeon campaigns, I literally do not mind. Oh. 
Just stay still, you'll put it will freeze to the core, you should keep moving. Keep on believing. Dirt is yummy. What's with the weird look for this Pokemon? That's not how they are supposed to look now. Okay. You can freeze anything. I'm trying to. There we go. That one spot is a little bit annoying, and I wonder if, if that spot was tested. The answer is probably not, but it's okay. Who cares? It doesn't. It, it doesn't block it for completely. It kind of reminds me uh, the PC version of Chrono Trigger, right? Where you could literally not be able to. So early on, before they patched the game, right? You could not use some save points because they would count as objects, and you would not be able to walk into them. What a terrible design. I'm the best. Oh my god. Full inventory. This many elixirs. I need that many orange berries. It's all incredibly useful items that we can utilize. I'd love to buy some heal, uh, some heal seeds, but I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. <laughs> An entire loop blood, okay. I throw rocks covered in bubbles, don't call me a coward. Ugh, I lost. How about another battle? I mean, I can take you. <laughs> Bring friends. I mean, you. Oh, wait, you already did, and I already kicked your ass. All. Oh, poor Aramal, Aramal. I don't even want to think about this. Because, yo, that is a full level Pokemon talking like this about a child Pokemon, essentially. I don't, I don't, I don't want to think about it. The less I think about it, the better. But my fucking bitch rate goes from like 5700 to like 4400. I don't understand what's going on. Thank you, I've been wondering what's uh, in the deepest part of the dungeon. Now I can sleep safe and sound. But yeah, very soon, um, I need to find some kind of morning where I'm just not playing to stream. And I'm gonna be uh, basically spending an entire day just figuring out how to record. Oh my god, now you have so many joy looplets, but I don't really need them anymore. Oh. Check out this. You might see a big axe. 
No, not X. It's Twitter. Nobody calls it X. Alright, so now... I hate how the box is so far away here. Uh, we need to get rid of this. And we need to grab uh, upper moss. There we go. And everything else is just items we are carrying. Alright, so where do we need to go? Well, first things first, connections. It's very difficult to just like go to the new list now because there's so many bogeys. I'm sure there's something I missed. Yeah, in Mid Midnight Sun Gorge. And what about Sand Continent? God. The game really wants me to go to the fucking Sand Labyrinth again. Well, I guess we are going there. Rescue, exploration, special delivery. see to Electabuzz. Well, I do have a metro shit ton of those, so we can do that. Well, not really, actually. This game is a little bit uh, stingy with those, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, might as well go. Wow, we don't we don't have a horrible uh, escort team with us this time. Rotom. Wow, Rotom, you are lazy. What the fuck? Wow. Oh, time to figure out another Pokemon we take with us. And honestly, it's probably gonna be Sylvian. Yeah, fuck it. Sylvian it is. Is there sand that's not yellow? Yeah, I just I, I I'm just kinda thinking about it, like is there is there sand that's not actually yellow? Ooh. My deep bed is uh, acting up again. But yeah. I assume, oh yeah, they're actually going there. Oh, I'm proud of you guys. Oh look, Grovile. I just changed the future. Well, I guess the past. Ah, that joke doesn't work because this, this is actually set in the future. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Lupus. Nothing personal, Lupus. That's a little Kabuto. I feel like when I'm affected by his stat, I actually do more damage. But like a stat lowering thing. Oh yeah, I do have perma buffers that I should be drinking. Oops. I'm slowly turning Finn into a god. So guard boost, that's defense. Wow, that was a lot of damage, actually. You are never ready in this game. If you think that you are powerful, the game will prove you wrong. The game will always prove you wrong. Also, the extra stats are just like... They just help. Gofita. Ouch. Can I be a big eater and gobble everything inside tonight? No. My god. Food, food, food comes at a premium. Go god damn it, Gofita. Actually, no, he doesn't because, you know, we are kind of fucking rich. And go for it. The entire Go family is above us now. We are friends with Honage. Oh, I guess I'm asleep, lol. Okay, let's leave this big room. But yeah, I do feel like this is probably the weakest part of the game so far. But behind the post game, and you know, the post game can be a little bit boring. I do feel like Explorers so far. I'm not saying that they had the best post game, but they had the most balanced post game. You know, but it didn't feel like I was wasting time. And I do feel like I'm wasting time a little bit, though. I do also feel like that's kind of the point. You know, the game kind of wants me to give up and give up on Scarlet. Oh, maybe I'm looking too much into it, I don't know. Also, what the fuck? Two misses in a row. Three misses in a row. Somehow. My character is currently doing no damage. Ow, hatred.
Wow. We just have to not waste the heal seed that we have. Now we hit. People actually hit sometimes. All right, here we go. Oh my god, why would you put it on no? Why do you put it on yes, but then on no? Are you actually retarded? That makes no sense. From like a UI perspective, right? Like a UX, UX designer thing. That is so fucking stupid. Why? Why would you ever do that? There is no logical reason to do it that way. Well, if we just exchange a heal seed for 100 points. We got a bag uh, our heal seat. Yes, that feels good. That makes me a happy panda. I will actually give this to myself. Fuck traps. So this place just doesn't give us normal food. That's a little annoying. Oh my god. Mate, why not go... Why not go after the one that was wounded? Seriously. Basic damage prioritization. It is okay, we don't need to see, we just need to make us a one step. Okay, now th now this became a meme. Oh there we go. Drawing Pokemon. I literally see them. Now going to become friends, he's going to heal us. I wish I didn't eat all of that food. 
or heal, or, you know, basically do 90% of everything I've done. Alright for new friendship, lick lick. Don't lick me, please. Please don't lick me, I'm not into that. Okay, I kinda am, but also really not. Oh gosh. Someone has Intimidator, that would be useful to have. Bunnery. If I see this Bunnery, I'm killing this Bunnery so hard. Ooh, Disney Payback. Sylvanas has been getting hit a lot, so having something for Sylvanas would be really nice. Even with all the extra accuracy, I still miss more than I hit. It's just the life of uh, Mystery Dungeon, I guess. Intimidator for Sylvia now. Flamebird's gonna sucks. Swap this with Elixir and let's regain. literally just special defense. That might as well be just special defense. We have so many extra lives that having extra lives on top of extra lives is kind of pointless. Imagine biting a scorpion. You. New. New, are you okay, buddy? Jesus. Again, the strange thing about this entire thing is that, uh, you know, new, Scarlet, who is female, just turned into a male Mew. Like, I wonder, like, uh, uh, did she turn into Mew? Or, uh, this was like a reincarnation, right? So, like, actually, no. It's so even turning into Mew. It's like, just Mew just became a thing. So, like, do genders just not even matter anymore? What even is a gender at this point? I'm pretty sure these are questions that really should not even be asking. Yes, I know. Let me. There we go. Let me hit! And of course you guys just didn't take the thing. Why would you take the thing? Actual idiots, that's what you guys are.
Dude, look at these weird connections we are making. At least one more. We already finished this dungeon, so it's like... I don't really care about, like, going all the way. I let you don't. But I also kind of want to get as many, as many like, perma buffers as such. So I'm in a weird, uh... I'm in a weird situation where, like... I don't want to go through the whole dungeon, but I also kind of want to go through the whole dungeon. Killing children. Okay, that hopefully is never gonna be taken out of context. It's Finn, not me. You know, Finn is the one going around killing binaries who are probably children, every single one of them. Another day for capitalism. Oh boy, do I, uh, do I enjoy using children in factories where their fingers get fucking snapped away. Oh my god. This is uh, this is actual punishment for what I said. Thank you, Intimidator. Time to be time to kill another child. Bang! Yo, bring a fairy type into this dungeon, this kind of memes. And I wish I knew, remembered what typings uh, were right here. We are generally kind of like ill prepared for this dungeon. We are still kicking ass, right? Because we are kind of overpowered right now, but like, we are definitely a little bit ill prepared when it comes to typings. So, when, so is the only Pokemon that's refusing to kill children, by the way. Zubin still has a soul compared to us. Oh, not a barrage. Oh, I don't have a barrage. Let's go. Oh, that's late. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like uh, the idea of the of the training tile. It's just it just doesn't appear often enough. is such a horrible thing. Oh, I don't want to give you big apple. Uh. Damn it, I, I have no noble apples anymore. Oh, thank you, I was so hungry, I almost blasted sand everywhere, lol. I was that close.
Oh my god, how many missions are here? I'm pretty sure we've done like six missions at this point. Man, the itchy nose. I I don't know why is my nose being very weird right now, but I would prefer it to freaking stop right now. It's making it very annoying to exist. It's like my nose is like somewhere in between wanting to sneeze and not wanting to sneeze. It's like it's like my nose is not entirely sure if it wants to sneeze or not. I don't know why, why is my nose like this? We are spending another big apple. You know, I heard that in Gates, uh, the belly mechanic doesn't exist. I kind of am looking forward to playing Gates almost entirely because of that. Because it is going to be a nice change of pace. To, like, not have to care about the food thing. It's not going to be something that I would like to say. Because in the end, you know, it's, it is part of the whole... It's part of the whole um, item man management thing, right? You know, it is part of the game, but I do want to know how it would feel without it. I want to know if it would feel better, worse, you know, like, I, I want to know where I will stand. There's, of course, the fear of, um, maybe the game is bad and it's going to paint uh, my opinion of the mechanic. Lots of, lots of things, uh, lots of questions, lots of thinking. It would also be kind of cool if, like, Gates was the first game that I did uh, just recording without streaming. Oh my god, Barrage. Basically, so I don't have to worry about that counter at the bottom of the screen that tells me, Oh yeah, your bitrate for no good reason is 3800 instead of 5k, but do you set it to 5k and your internet should be good enough to have 5k? Thirsty Desert. Oh no, it's OnlyFans. Guys, we found OnlyFans. Oh, on, oh, only, uh, only Mons. Yeah, Metagross is with us now. Metagross 
is a very powerful Pokemon. One sixty, my God. Ben, let's rest up for another day of exploring. Nighty night. No, Finn! You're falling! Finn! Scarlet! Mm, yawn. Is it morning already? The breeze. It feels nice on my face. It's time to wake up. Wait, what? What in the world? Why am I in the Serene Village? Huh? This is... Serene Village? Why am I here? I fell asleep in my room at the Expedition Society Headquarters, literally across the continent. So how did I end up here? Is just me here? Oh, my head! Did somebody hit me or something? I gotta remember. I've already forgotten so much of my life before here, and I'm forgetting more? This is not good. I've got to try to remember. I know I was turned into Pokemon and helped to defeat Dark Matter. Then Scarlet disappeared. And that was when I met Mew. That's right, Mew. You came to live with me. I remember the first few days. But what happened after that? What is going on? Why am I in Serene Village? How did I get here? <laughs> did I get teleported? I mean, I know Mew can do that. I couldn't interact with anything. Whisper? Oh no. Rosary is not here either? Let's leave. Coracosta? Oh man, imagine how Coracosta is feeling now that his adoptive uh, daughter is like gone. I had. I remember. You, you suddenly fell ill. And wouldn't wake up. You to hurry back to Lively Town. Huh? What's wrong? Why the grim look on your face there? I didn't realize it was you. When did you come back to the village? I don't even know, man. Hey, uh, hello. Dude, what's going on? I'm gonna keep the slumber orb. Okay, I have a fair amount of apples, fair amount of elixirs. Is that your fan? Long time no see. Long time no see, buddy. It is the first time you've been home in so long, you know, so you should relax. No. I feel like the game is... I, I, I feel like I'm being called out by the game. I legitimately feel like the game is trolling me. Lively Town now. Wow, that was easy. It was always so bustling here. No matter when I come, I really enjoy it. 
My head is always tormented. It hurts so bad. Huh? You look like you're in a hurry. Did something happen? Be careful, though. I'm trying not to overdo it. Are you all alone today? Martial arts are great. Wouldn't you try? Quite a beautiful day again today, eh? It's about time to learn something new. Always walk the line. Right down the line, I tell ya. <laughs> May I offer a mushroom in these trying times? My character is just forgetting stuff right now. What's going on? Is my character going through, like, some kind of horrible disease right now? I love how my character is like, I need to hurry, and I'm like, here, I would like to do some shopping first. That's how little I care about you, by the way. You isn't here? But when, then where? It's not that Mew has been unresponsive like this for very long. It seems to come and go, rather, with these spells coming on uh, unexpectedly. Can you say anything to explain it? It is the influence of dark matter that causes this affliction. The dark matter? Dark matter was not completely erased from this world. A part of it remains within Mew. That's right, now I remember. We called Zatu to come uh, have a look at Mew. Which ended up with us learning that there was still some dark matter within Mew. This is what Zatu explains. Hmm? Serene Village? Yeah, I wanna go, I wanna see it. Right, and then... I thought that if Mew just saw the view from the hill with the big tree, they might accuse whatever was wrong. Wow, it's beautiful, what a place! Gone! Do hast! Huh? Mew is gone? Before I knew what happened, Mew had somehow disappeared. Ah! That's right. That's when I was hit by someone or something. I was fainted down the hill. But then, what about Mew? Finn. Mobile, I'm first. Finn, where's Mew? Not with you, hmm? What? You were attacking Serene Village? It's fucking Nuzleaf again. God damn it, Dad! I came to talk to you because we just received a worrying letter. A letter? We must destroy Dark Matter. If we do not, this world will be consumed by nightmares once more. That is why Mnu must be destroyed in the purifying cave. That is how the peace of this world can be protected. You must ex accept this expedition society, a protector of peace. What the fuck? What is this? I fear for, I fear for the Mnu. May not have been abducted by the author of this letter. No way. The purifying cave is a place of power able to put the spirits of Pokemon to rest. Whoever is behind this plot must wish to use that power to end Mew. To end Mew? I understand his uh, righteous desire to strike out against Dark Matter. However, I cannot agree to this. No matter the reason, erasing Mew from this world is something I will not allow. Finn, please hurry to the Purifying Cave. I will, I will begin rounding up troops. The Expedition Society is moving out. Finn, it's time for action. Fuck ya. I heard everything, Finn. The chief and the mobile are out getting everyone together. I will send out a call for everyone too. So hurry to the purifying cave, Finn. How do I get to purifying cave? Works. Whoa! I was a stacking right just now, really. No, I it wasn't. Sure, buddy. Because I love how the music is suddenly like normal chill music. But I'm so close to fucking ranking up. It seems like there's a hubbub down the hill. What's the deal? No one told you?
Okay, I am armed to the teeth. I am going to get some speed. I am going to get some attack. I'm going to get some defense. And I'm going to get some uh, special defense. You're a fine cave. The question is, how, how does one get there? Oh, oh okay, that, 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 okay. Oh, please, tell me Rotom is here. Yes! Oh, Nelly. Vaporeon? Yes! Oh, oh, no, we are so scary right now. This is my super power team. Oh, I know this music. I know this music. I've heard this music before. In one of my sessions. Infinite stats. All right, let's go. Oof. Again, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have to say it, but like, God, the music in this game is 10 out of 10. Literally the best music in all of Pokemon. And some of the most, some of the most amazing music in gaming. Honestly. Like, this sounds like Chrono Trigger music, which is a good thing, by the way. Chrono Trigger is like some of the best music ever. If you told me that this was a music in some kind of version of Chrono Trigger that I've never seen, I would probably believe you, actually. I would be like, yeah, that's, that seems like Chrono Trigger music. It's the sound of whales. You know, the sound of whales is a very Chrono Trigger thing. I don't know what the musical instrument is, but it does sound like whales. It always sounded like whales ever since I played the first Chrono Trigger. And Chrono Cross, obviously. God, I feel so sorry for people who only played the terrible Dreamers version of uh, Chrono Cross. Because, like, Chrono Cross is already kind of a jank ass game, right? Sort of, it's not perfect, right? But, um, that version of the game is so much worse than the original. It's actually really sad. Like, I legit feel sorry for anyone who has played that version of the game. Because you have been done a disservice. And again, I also kind of feel sorry for anyone playing Chrono Cross today, because Chrono Trigger is pretty, like, it has aged really well, I feel. But Chrono, Chrono Cross definitely not. Like, it has a lot of weird jank-ass mechanics, uh, way too many characters. Without really doing anything with those characters. There's a lot of characters that just don't have a character at all. 
They are there just so that they can put on the boat. So we have millions of characters, lol. Okay, that's that's maybe a little bit cynical, but I do feel like they went for quantity over quality, which is the, literally the opposite of Chrono Trigger. Because Chrono Trigger has only a couple characters, but they're all extremely good. You know, every single one of them, you know, like a multi-dimensional... Have a point, you know, they grow over, over time. And then you have Chrono Cross, where I can say that about like maybe four characters, which is less than in Chrono Trigger. So, was it really worth it? Then again, I have not played Chrono Cross in ages, so maybe I should replay it. It's just, I kind of don't want to. You know, it's just the fact that someone who is a big fan of Chrono Trigger doesn't want to replay Chrono Cross. Probably tells you everything you need to know. And it's not even, you know, the fact that I would have to emulate it because I definitely do not want to play the Dreamers version. It's mostly just, I don't want to. I literally don't want to play the game. I want my memory of the game to be undisturbed by the actual reality of the game. Because I'm pretty sure the game is not a, it's actually nowhere near as good as I remember. No, like I, I will replay Chrono Cross, and it's probably even worse than I'm saying right now. And like me saying that this is just a little bit jank, but you know, with heart, might actually be literally be nostalgia. But that might actually be me coping. I don't wanna I wanna I don't wanna believe that that's the case, but you know. Knowing life, it might actually be the case. Oh, Rotom left. Ah yes, that means Rotom is even more likely to not be available for the for next expedition. Here you go, Rotom. Keep fighting. Rotom really is the MVP of this uh, of this expedition. Rotom is the MVP of every expedition. Let's be completely honest. Power boost Y. Let's go. Why did we just kill? Well then. Time for alliance. Pop. 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 I love how uh, super serious Amphoros was about that entire situation because uh, all of this is like affected uh, the expedition society so much like like whether they like it or not they are involved with, with the whole dark matter thing at least that's how i'm reading into it maybe i'm wrong but i feel like you know maybe like they take a little bit maybe they, they think that they they have to take responsibility for the for what happened a little bit That's just my theory. I don't, I don't see into Amphorus's head. I have no idea what the guy is thinking. He, he is very difficult to read.
Like, I'm pretty sure he means well, right? I'm pretty sure he is not an asshole, but that's probably as far as I can take me being able to read him. He is a very complicated character. He means well, that's all I can say with 100% assurance. Anything else I'm not 100% sure on. He's definitely a tricksy character, you know, like, um... Definitely is more than willing to go through, um... Not exactly okay means in order to achieve shit. Ooh. Maximum HP, let's go. Sorry, Meow Stick. I love you, my girl, but like it's time to die. Die already, you son of a bitch. Is shit like this that really makes you understand how important one-hitting enemies is in this game? Because that thing is punishing if you don't one-hit. to never, never, never ever stop shooting. Um, Thunder Shock into fight. Oh my god, fuck it up, so? Oh no. Upso's fucking pressure? Jesus fucking Christ. These Upso really are dark types. Ooh. Ooh. Them fighting warriors right there. I personally know people who any kind of slander to Upso's, they will probably fucking crucify me. Not AOE. Here we are lying to this. Pop into pop into pop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. We are, we are getting to some explosive scale d design dungeons. Holy shit. Actually, no. Let's just go. There's always a chance that this is gonna be the last floor. Oh shit, that's fucking Solomon's. useless. Man, without Rotom this would be such pain. Seriously, without Rotom, this would be painful. Right now, it's literally just time consuming. And resource consuming, obviously. Yes, early boss. I do wish the belly would go down a little bit slower. I do feel like the belly goes down a bit too fucking fast in this game. expert. Uh, it's actually not that much of a big deal, honestly. Oh, PP Restore. I guess I'm gonna put, give another person PP Restore. This is going to be done with PP Restore. I don't trust my pogies here to be able to kill this easily. Another PP Restore? Oh my god. There we go. Infinite PP. I 
wondering where is the story going with this. I'm pretty sure it's Nazleev who's doing this, because Nazleev just kind of left the story. And just kind of suddenly, right? So Nazleev is probably seeing this as like his penance, right? You know, he probably means well. He wants to like uh, undo the sins that he has committed. I'm assuming that's kind of what's going on here. And, you know, we need to, like, explain to him that, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, like, killing Mew is not the answer. Like, yeah, that's probably coming from me, because I was joking about killing Mew, but, like, I don't actually want Mew to be dead. Fun fact. I... If there is any way for both Scarlet and Mew to exist, I will take that. Because Mew deserves to live. Yo, know, Mew was born... You know, reborn in his form, and he deserves to live. But so does Scarlet. It's only when um, the game would give me a decision between the two, that's when I would uh, make the difficult call of I do care about Scarlet much more than I care about Mew. And I can't even say that this game would not do that, because this is Mystery Dungeon. Your know, Mystery Dungeon is... Kinda famous for difficult decisions. Tight grip. Oh. So many new emeralds. God. Freaking ice beam, man. So I do feel like uh, this is probably going to lead to uh, Mew at least leaving, because it is not safe for Mew to be around. Like, there's a lot of Pokémon that just wanna get rid of Mew, just because he's a Mew. Like, they, they, like, they don't even need a Dark Matter thing, you know? Like, they could literally just go after Mew because he's a legendary, they wanna prove themselves. For, so, for literally any reason. They don't even need a good reason. Like, you think in real life, you know, people who have good reasons for stuff? They don't. You know, very commonly people do things just because they can. That's a weird fucked up thing about humans, because, you know, vast majority of animals, right, they don't do things just cause, you know, they usually have some kind of reason, something telling their brain that, you know, it's time to do this. But as humans, we are, like, so fucked in the head, that we very commonly do things that, like, there's no good reason to do it, and yet we still do, do it. We still do it. it actually, better. There's a lot of reasons not to do something, and we still do it. You know, just because we, we know that we are not supposed to do it, and because of that we want to do it. So, oh, Rotom, where are you going, you bozo? Also, that Vaporeon in my way is really slowing everything down. Oh, none of the bubble boost wine. Tell me why, uh, 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 uh. Oh, why you cry? Because I'm gonna take it. It's 
12. God, how many floors? HP swap. Nice. I love getting my moves sealed early on. It's my favorite, lol. Wow, you give give this shit to me now. A little bit late game. game. But I can't even switch from myself to other people. Yo, know, the game is very inconsistent with that. Like, I do appreciate being able to switch leaders, but the fact how freaking inconsistent it is between different dungeons is definitely kind of ruining the entire experience. Now we are almost in a in, in, in an area where I'm, I almost would prefer to not even have it because that way it would make me less angry. Oh my god, why did you go sideways? I literally did not do that. What the fuck game? Ugh. Oh. D-pad is like, oh, you, you, you are holding up? Well, I'm gonna put you sideways, lol. 3DS D-pad definitely was something, wasn't it? No, gonna put you sideways, my boy. God, how many fucking slots do I still have left? I feel like I'm going through more resources than I'm gaining. Misfortune Mirror? Excuse me? The fuck is Misfortune Mirror? I have another PP rest of it, did I get that? I mean, it's not like it's, it, it has a point anymore, but still. When did I get it? This game uh, does lack uh, the ability to give the player proper information. Ah, oh, interesting. Not gonna use that, but that's interesting. Developers making RNG terrible, then give you ways to fix the thing that they caused. Love it. So there you go, Rotom. So you pay back, that's defense. Oh. 
memes. Big rooms means enemies are constantly gonna be spawning. It's funny because when I wanted to grind, you know, game was not spawning anyone. I, I swear these games have like an actual like mind and they're specifically designed to fuck over the player in every possible way. Because when I was trying to grind, the game was like, ah, 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 I cannot let you do that, lord. Two tangents. God, how long is this dungeon? Now I'm scared that my internet is going to explode before we fucking uh, get to Scarlet. It's one of those things that I'm really looking forward to actually like recording rather than streaming because that way I'm not controlled by that shit. You can always you know, pause the recording and such, you know. There's gonna be a lot of like nice quality of life shit for the streamer. This is a very long dungeon. For critical, I go. Fifteen. Is this the biggest dungeon in the game? Probably not. Let's be completely honest, no. This is not the biggest dungeon, but it definitely fucking feels like it. We've got so few greens. Also, that is a lot of gold bars. Holy shit, this dungeon is good for gold bars. And XP. And money. It's generally a really good dungeon for like... Grinding important shit. Speaking of XP... I'm not evolving without uh, Scarlet, by the way. I, like I said before, I'm just not doing that. Fuck evolving without my girl. We promised we would evolve together, goddammit. We promised that we want to be together for the rest of our lives. I'm not gay, except in real life where I am very gay. How much cash do I have? Oh my God. Yeah, this dungeon was worth for a lot of cash. Defense. So nothing personal. I really like you, and I'm really sorry for your story being kind of horrifying. But uh, this is for Scarlet. There is no amount of corpses I'm not willing to go through, you know, to bring back Scarlet.
There we go. I feel like I've made it pretty far. Oh, the subject up ahead. New. Stop. Stay back, Finn. Don't don't you touch that damn you. It's Nuzli. I know the voice, but it can be not you. Nuzli, be him. And then the one who attacked me in Serene Village, the one who kidnapped Mew. That was all you. I'm mighty sorry, Finn. I know I've caused you no end of trouble, child. Truth is, I didn't want to have to do this, but you got to wipe out that dark matter once and for all. We cannot take this anymore. You caused so much hurt to other Pokemon. We cannot go through that kind of thing again. I can't understand that. I wouldn't want anything like that ever happen again either. But that doesn't mean... You. I'm sorry, Finn, but it is gonna end. You gotta accept this. New is disappearing. Is this really for the best? Fuck no. Really? Do I accept this? Is this really for the best? And fuck no. I'm sorry, Dad. It's time to die. You had your chances. No, this isn't what I want. I want us to stay together. If Dark Matter comes back, I will beat it again. I can't do that again. I don't ever want to have to say that goodbye again. We kill. We slay. Th that's... That. She Fennekin! Scarlet! What in the world? Finn. So that's Scarlet. She was inside you this whole time. She was you. When I was asleep, I could feel it. Your desperate wish, Finn. My wish? That's right. I'm for Zatu. And mobile too? I'm sorry, Finn. This was all done just to lead you here. What the fuck? To lead me? I saw it. I saw Scarlet sealed within Mew. I saw Mew's collapse. I knew that it was not because of any hidden fragment of dark matter. It was because Scarlet still remained. If only the barrier could be broken, Scarlet could return to this world. But it would be up to the strength of Finn's feelings in the end. That is what Zatu felt. And that is what Nazleep and Behem came to talk with us. Nazleep? They wanted uh, to make up for what they have done to you, Finn. They have done... Uh, they've been searching all this time for a way to repay you. So when they heard from Zatu that there might be a way, a way for Scarlet to return to this world, they volunteered on their own to play their unsavory role. They tricked me into coming along with them, promising it'd be fun. That's how I ended up here. You know what? I'm glad I did. Sorry about beating on you all when I first realized it was a trap. E yeah, that was the situation indeed. You whooped us good, kid. But that don't matter. Zadu, did it really work? Is Scarlet really? You need not worry. Scarlet is back. Imagine consciousness. I imagine consciousness will soon return to Scarlet. Yeah? Oh, ain't that something, you all? We finally went and did it, what's right? I'm feeling fine and cream gravy. Man. Ben? Time to hug. All the hugs. Scarlet. Looks like we meet again. And it's all because everyone helped us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Finn. Thank you so much. And so, Scarlet returned to the Pokemon world. Mew went home to the mystery jungle, but Mew remains both friend and ally, and promises to come help us whenever we are in need. 
Nazui was accepted back by the Pokemon of the village. And is now living in a serene village along with the Behem. And here at the Expedition Society in Lively Town. Oh my god, I miss this so much. It has been like 8 hours of in-game time, but like 2 real life weeks. Morning, Finn. Here's to another exciting day. We may not have our old scarves anymore, but that doesn't change our friendship. Now it's time for another adventure. Do your best out there, everyone. You too as well. Please put your hearts into it. By the way, I have a favor to ask you. Are you too aware that is uh, uh, what is known as a treasure collection? Treasure collection? It is a series of exceedingly rare treasures which are scattered across all, all our regions. I'd like you to go on expeditions in search of them. May I buy your expedition gadgets? Oh my god, this game never ends! Let's see. Yeah, finished. I made it so that you may see the locations of the treasures in your expedition gadget. Any dungeons with a crown are the ones which you need to go. Please go on expeditions to places marked with a crown on your map. I've also included a treasure collection for you. You can check it uh, whether or not you have already obtained the treasures in question. Good luck on your expeditions in search of treasure collection. One last thing. We Expedition Society members are also your friends. We will be there to assist you at any point if you should need us. Please let us know if you'd like us to go into a dungeon with you. Oh my god, no way. Oh, let's go! Puzzle! Mobile! Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is kind of where the story ends, right? I think, I think we have done all of the story. Swirlix. Good luck on your expedition today. There will be delicious dinner waiting here for you. If you take too long, I will let you eat your share, lol. This <laughs> is shit, Ed. Never change, Swirlix. There are so many things left to investigate. Let's all do our best. Skylight Fame, be safe out there. If you need any help with your studies, just let me know. I will stay up late, I'll help you if you need me to. Good luck with your work today. Also, please, work on that treasure collection expedition too. The movement of the stars have returned to normal. I'm so glad it's another peaceful day. God, that's a lot of connections we made. I can't believe it. I was something again, I have to get it back. Alright, friend, let's do our best on expeditions. Oh my god. I like to gossip about me neighbor Pokemon. Oh god, Murkrow, no. That's mean. Don't do that. Thank you for your time. Talking about this and that, it was fun. God, that's a lot of connections. It was my rival, actually. Oh, I thought you guys are friends. Why is he your rival? Thanks for listening. I hope Taylor and I can do the vote through friendly competition. I could, uh, I could use advice about mine and mine is right next to you.
Thank you for listening to me. I wish mine were a little more mature. But I may be asking for too much, thanks. I was singing my heart out. I should sing sometimes too. Let's sing. Or is it the urge to bite? Straight down the line. I will sing it straight. We have to sing a song of peace. I have to be pretty good at the singing thing. I'm not much of a singer, but I will do what I can. Let's sing a song for peace. It's a duel's everybody. Oh, Is that real? Is that me? I heard a round and round full of energy again today. When I hear it, when I sing, it calls me down. I fear and follow aura when lost. Wow, I met myself. I'm WW w attack. Sorry, I just wanted to say that just because. Oh. My, are you heading out on an expedition again today? Oh, wonderful, good luck. Hey, have you seen Croco and Crocodile? I still have some work for them to do. They've been working real hard for me though. I guess I can't get too mad if they slack up once in a while. No. Imagine any boss being like that in real life. I want to master wine whipping skills. That was fun, thanks. By the way, do, do you want to see how I use wines? I can show you how skilled I am. Okay, I'm scared of that line. Once in a while. My work's done for the day, you got a problem with it? So don't say anything to Miss Miltang about me relaxing. Don't let her looks fool you, she's actually crazy dangerous. When she gets mad, she, she comes rolling at you. <laughs> Actual PTSD from Jota. But the game is just straight up giving you luminous orbs now. I remember when those were like really rare. We should all keep ourselves tidy. Can help you with your expedition if you don't mind. That's a lot of things. But yeah, there's something extremely important. If I decide to continue the game and get the treasures and such, there is one thing that I need to do before anything else. Because I'm gonna be stopping the stream very soon. Hey, are you going somewhere fun? Oh, I, I need to head across the ocean. Be careful out there. Get back in time for dinner. Electricity I can generate it easily. I want to be strong as like my dad. I'm happy to be moving luggage around here again today. Even heavy stuff is no match for me. It is time. Like we promised. Welcome to the Tree of Life. Rainbow Evolve, is that correct? Yes. Once a ball, Pokemon cannot return to its previous state. Are you sure about this? Understand. Then Finn, come this way. I will lead you to the Tree of Life. God, the evolution is so straight to the point. Is there anything else? Evolve Scarlet.
Oh, she looks so cute now. I'm not sure if she has enough levels to actually evolve. Oh, she does. Evolutions are so straight to the point in this game, holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. We did it. Man, what a game this was. Yes, I am speaking in past tense. Because, you know, there's a chance I might not return. And I will return to this game in the future if I'm still alive. Because, like, this game was fantastic. This, this is what every Pokemon game you should strive for. This level of quality. It's actually kind of sad because, like, most Pokemon games are kind of pretty low quality these days. So to see a Pokemon game of this high quality is insane. Like, what a damn good game this is. Ancient treasures. Never hungries. The eight treasures. Golden items. But yeah. Scarlet and Mia evolved. It is exactly as we have promised to each other. I feel like there is one last thing I need to do. Good Lucario's walking animation is amazing. Look. Oh, there's more missions. Well, there is one last thing I want to do. Okay, well, actually two. I'm going to go to Korokosta and talk to him. Hey there, sir. Stick with Scarlet. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Let's leave. My father. Ben. Oh, I reckon. These here villagers have accepted them be him and me. You know, after all we've done to them. They still went and don't forgave us. I reckon I can't thank them enough. I do believe I will do whatever I can for for this here village from now on. If you would need me, I will go on adventures with you. So well. Uh, welcome home, I reckon. Father. one place I need to go. Oh god. And this is where it all started. I kind of wish there would be no one here, but hey. This is where it all started. On this hill with a tree. Ah, what a game. 83 hours and 22 minutes. So, just in case I don't actually return to this game, I do have to say that this game has been fantastic. This game has been one of the best games I have ever played in my entire life. No joke, no bullshit, literally, it has been that good. 
Anyone who tells you that this game is not good is an actual idiot. Like, the story is the most high quality story Pokemon has ever had. Hands down. I fear not saying this whatsoever. Uh, the gameplay, it's Mystery Dungeon. It is balls hard, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the closest uh, Mystery Dungeon, you know, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has ever gotten to Shiren difficulty. From what I understand. And if Shiren is even more difficult than this, then I don't want to play them. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. But yeah, uh, music is fantastic. Like, this game has probably the best music in all of Pokemon. Change names. I don't have everything unlocked, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Give me a moment. Try to find... There it is. Alright. Like... I will remember this game for the rest of my life. On the deathbed, one day, I will remember the journey of Finn and Scarlet. I will also remember... I, I will also remember our story from Explorers. And from Explorers of the Spirits. You know, like... I will, not, I, I, I will probably not remember uh, Blue Rescue too much, because it barely had a story, but the journey of the Heroes of the Dark Matter incident and the Heroes of the Time Gear incident will be with me forever. Just like uh, Chrono and his friends in Chrono Trigger, just like, uh, just like Cloud uh, in Final Fantasy VII, just like... Man... Just like uh, Tidus uh, in Final Fantasy X. Just, man, these freaking games. I'm, I'm so happy I had this experience. Oh. But yeah, like, I I wish I could just give this to people, right? I really wish I could just, like, give this to all the people I know and just, like, present them with this game. Because, like, so few people have actually played Super Mystery Dungeon. And, like, I feel like this game needs to be known, man. What a great game. But it's time to say goodbye. Um, again, we may return, you know, if the trip... Like, maybe I'm just gonna get, like, PTSD and I'm, I'm gonna be like, I, I need to return to this. I need to play more of this, right? But yeah. For now, it is time to say goodbye to Finn and Scarlet and... If I return for the treasures, right, then uh, I might do more, right? I'm probably gonna record that, I'm not gonna stream that, right? And we are also gonna be doing, we are gonna be returning to Explorers and um, we are gonna be doing another playthrough of that. Eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. But yeah. With that, it is time to say goodbye and thank you for joining me on this journey thank you for experiencing this with me potentially for the first time 
I experienced this for the first time and I recommend this. But yeah. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow me on my Twitch and subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. I upload videos every day and I stream every day if I can't do anything about it. Also, we have a Discord server. If you would like to join a community of like-minded individuals, then send me a message on Twitch, on Twitter, on YouTube, in any way, I will send you a link to it. It's a small community, but a wonderful one. But yeah, wish you a great day, night, afternoon, whatever sexy hearts want. And next time, probably with a different game. Goodbye. What a great game. <laughs>